Hello, my marvelous muses. How are we doing tonight, guys? So, we made it through Easter week. A beautiful Timu haul. Loved all the glitter and the sparkles. Of course, guess what? My first video, I'm not using any of it. So. <laughs> I'm not using any of the glitter or sparkles. I've been dying to do this treasure box. Really have. I've heard this is really difficult to unmold. So... I'm not looking forward to that, but, um, we are going to mix up some resin, we are going to pour this, and I am just going to do it in boring brown, actually I'm going to do it in boring brown and I'm going to add a little bit of red gold to it, in the resin, and we're going to pour it in here, and then when we're done, the straps on here, on the ends, I'm going to make this look either gold or bronze, kind of try to make it mix in with the hardware that comes with it. I may do the straps across the top in black. Uh, I may dry brush some texture onto it because it feels like there's a little bit of texture, especially on here. It feels like the wood might be kind of looks like wood. So we may dry brush a little bit of black onto there or whatever to make it look a little more like a pirate's chest. And another thing that I want to do is, I don't think I have it out, I got this little bitty teeny tiny, teeny teeny tiny earring mold post. I'll grab it when I make the resin here, I'll bring it out. But I want to take and I want to make a whole bunch of little gold circles, because they're teeny, they're like little bitty round gold circles. And I figured they'd be perfect. For gold coins to go in my pirate chest so i'm gonna put you guys on a pause on mix up some resin we're gonna come back we're gonna put some mica powder in it and we're gonna pour it and we're gonna make the treasure chest so i'll be right back guys okay guys we're back so i've got six ounces of resin mixed up here i've got another two ounces off to the side in case i need it I don't know how much this is going to take. So, just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and mixed up a little bit of extra. And this is the mold I was talking about. If you see the little circles right here, these two little circles, if I figure if I take some UV resin, a little bit of gold, I have some gold alcohol ink, and uh, I can knock out about 10 or 12 of these and drop them into my treasure chest when it's done. So, uh, after I pour this, we might make a couple, but then I'll make some more off camera. So we'll have a bunch of them made up when I demold this tomorrow night. So, I have red gold, and I have brown mica powder. I'm going to put just a couple dashes of this red gold in here. Not a whole lot. Okay, is it even open? Let's see if it's open here. Yeah, it's open. I don't want a whole lot of it in here. Just want to tint the brown just slightly. Tint the brown just a little bit. Okay, we're going to see if that's enough. up really really good here I think I might want to do these in black what do you think I 
thought about trying to do them in UV resin, but if I'm doing it in black, I don't want to use UV. I want to use regular resin. So I'll take just a little bit of this extra resin I've got mixed up here if I don't need it. And we'll dye it black. Or I'll add some black if I have extra brown left. I'll add some black to this. And make it a really dark, dark brown. And that'll work too. That would work too. Alright. Let's just pour our resin here. Just a hair more. There we go. All right. Oops, don't go over the edge. Okay, now we're going to pour this. Cute, huh? Oh, these are cute. I can't wait. Alright. Make sure we got all the... All around the edges here. That looks pretty full too. Okay. So, we have quite a bit of resin left here. We have quite a bit of resin left. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye it black by taking a little bit of black, my, my black pigment. I just put a little bit on a stick here, and I'm going to put it in, and we're going to dye it. And that's either going to turn it a dark enough brown that it won't matter, or it'll turn it completely black. How does this bottle get like this? I don't understand. <laughs> I do not understand. And the white's not that way. It's just this black. I don't know. I don't know how it gets that way. It's a pretty dark brown. I feel like it could be a little bit darker. A little bit darker. We use a little bit of black alcohol ink. See if we can't darken it just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Let's shake it up really good at first. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. Shake your booty. Is anybody into the disco phase years ago? I probably was, but didn't want to admit it. <laughs> Some of my friends were like, Ew, disco sucks. So I probably was kind of into it. Can't lie, you know, BGs were pretty cool. But yeah, I was probably more into the disco than I wanted to admit. Than I wanted to admit. Alright, these are teeny, teeny, tiny here. 
teeny, teeny, tiny. Here it is. Those are little, <laughs> little bitty guys. Beady, 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 beady. And we still have black left. What do we want to put black in? Hey, let me see here. Let's do a black coaster. One of my new coasters. I'm sure I can find something to do to the top of it after I pour some black in it. Ooh, that's kind of a chocolatey brown. That's pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure I can find something to put on top of here. I have enough stickers and stuff. We'll find a pretty color to go on there. Wow. That's pretty. Very pretty. Alright, I'll put you guys on a pause, we'll come back here in just a minute and we'll do two of these little gold coins and see how they turn out and then I'll let you go from there, but I will be right back, alright guys? Okay guys, we're back. Alright, so I've got my UV resin here, a little bit of it in a cup. I've got my gold alcohol ink. We're going to try this first, and we're going to do one with just gold alcohol ink, and we're going to see what happens. And we're going to see if it's pigmented enough that it'll look like gold in the coins, or if I need to add a little bit of mica powder to it. If I add mica, I'm not going to add a lot because I don't want it to not cure. See, I feel like that's too translucent. It's not going to look enough like gold. I can still see through it pretty good. So, we're just going to do one little bitty shake. Nope, not that side. We got the side here that's got the little shaker in it. There we go. We tapped it one time. Tapped it one little time here. I feel like this can be just enough to to make it still translucent, but yet just enough to make it still look like a gold coin. Alright. If this works, we're gonna do I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna do several between now and tomorrow night when I demold these. And we're going to have several to put into our little treasure box. Alright, let's move my resin out of the way here. Let's flash cure this right quick. We'll cure these real quick. Okay, I can move it now. I'm going to cure it underneath my UV light over here right quick. I'm going to cure it for 90 seconds. I'm going to flip it over and cure it for another 90 seconds. And then we're going to pop them out and see if they make sure they cure good. No thicker than that mold is, that should be enough. 90 seconds on each side. So what do you guys think? 
So, if you guys have this mold, what color are you doing it? Or have you done it? And if so, what color did you do it? There we go. Got some bubbles right here on the end. Not like they're really going to show a whole lot. But, I still don't want it to look that way. Actually, yeah, they would because that's the end of it. And then this is the other end. Alright, well, we're down to 30 seconds, guys, and then we'll flip it over. I'm going to set up cure it for 90 seconds on the other side. And I'm going to make a handful of them, and we're going to put them in the treasure chest. I might even do some, like, little gold necklaces. I have a little chain, real thin chain. I might do a couple little gold necklaces, and Ooh, maybe we'll even do, there's a diamond on here. Maybe we'll do the diamond. How fun would that be, right? Put a couple of diamonds in there and some gold and in the pirate's treasure chest. That would be cute. We could dye them like red and green and blue. We could do emeralds and sapphires and rubies and we'll put them in with the gold. Oh, that's going to be fun. Guys, I just... <laughs> my brain keeps turning and turning and turning. Can you see the smoke like rolling under the camera? <laughs> From the wheels turning. Can you see the smoke? Yeah, I... I get too many ideas going on in my head at one time. I guess maybe years ago I'd have probably been diagnosed with ADHD. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed with anything, but... Well, it's not, at least not any time recently, anyway. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the treasure chest, guys. I can't lie. This was one, I don't know why, but this is one that I've just... Ever since I got the mold, I've been dying to do it. And there's several, actually. The snake, the flower, that flower one. Oh, my God, I want to do that so bad. Um, there's one I haven't done that I bought a while back. The perpetual calendar. Uh, there's another one that's a lady that's a jewelry holder. I'm thinking about making her and using her to hang some of my jewelry up at the cell so all right here we go guys let's see what we got oh my gosh they worked look at my little bitty gold coins how cute are these guys aren't those cute oh my gosh those are adorable oh my word see here's the diamonds Where's that? Here's the diamond ones right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to do some more gold ones here. I'm going to do them off camera. And then, like I said, I'm going to do a bunch more tonight and tomorrow. And uh, I'll have a whole stack of these and a whole stack of the little diamonds, different colors. Tomorrow for the video. And when we demold and put this all together, we will put our diamonds and our gold into our treasure box. And our pirate's treasure chest. So, I will see you guys tomorrow night. Have a great night. Hello guys, it's demolding time. It is demolding time. So, I went in last night and today and I've been making little gold coins here. And little gems. I've got rubies and sapphires and diamonds and i got some chains here. And we're going to put those in our little box when we get it all done. So, I had read, one of my viewers told me that this was kind of a trick to get out. So, I've already sprayed some alcohol down in here to make it a little easier. And it looks like it might not be too bad now. So, we shall see. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, isn't that pretty, guys? Wow. Holy 
holy smokes, that's beautiful. <laughs> Knocking stuff off here. Knocking my powder off. That's pretty. I can't wait to do a bunch more of these. And around Halloween, we're going to make some cool ones. Alright, and we're going to take this out. I'm going to take this one out. Nice. Very nice. So does it go... I'm guessing it goes like this. Just like that. Nice. Oh, this is pretty, guys. Now, I don't know... If, I'm not sure how to glue this on. Because if I use UV resin... It's not really going to get underneath there. So do I use UV resin or do I try to use super glue? Or, well, I could use E6000, but if I use that, it's going to take it a while to cure. And I don't want to spend that long. So. <laughs> not this first time. I want to try to get it together. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh. This is cute, guys. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Alright. So now we got these little pieces here. And best that I can tell, these pieces snap together. And these are the pieces that make your hinges, like so. And let's see. I forgot how they did this now. Part of it goes on here. Gotta figure out how this goes. Gotta figure out how this goes, guys. Not a hundred percent sure here. Not a hundred percent sure. All right. I think the first thing we're going to do then, we're going to try to super glue this. And I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm just going to do a couple drops in this rim. Alright. This is so pretty. Wow, that's pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Alright. Alright. Stand it up this way. So it'll dry. Stand it that way so it'll dry. Now we gotta figure out how this goes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. How does this go, guys? How does this work? I know I saw... But that's too narrow to go there. And 
that's too wide to go here. Okay, maybe like so. No. I don't know, guys. This is going to drive me crazy. All right, we need it so it'll open and close. So this is. Hmm. Don't know how this goes on, guys. <laughs> Does this go on? How did this go on, guys? Do we know? And I saw them glue this on as well. And then screw it on. So. That I know. This part, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What is it doing? Like this. Okay, it'd be on the outside. Okay, I don't know, guys. This is going to bug me. Alright, I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to go look and see if I can figure out how to put this thing together. I'll be right back. Okay, I figured out what you have to do. So you put the two pieces together with the back, the curved part facing the back, and then... You glue one side in, and then this side's going to go in here. So, that's the plan anyway. So, we will put this up like so. Pretty sure this is how it's going to work. like so and then when you open it up it'll be in there so so let's see how does this go I don't know how this goes, guys. <laughs> I thought I did. I can't find very many videos on this. All I can find is like one or two. And I'm going to try to figure out. I know it attaches to this top piece somehow. So we're going to try to figure that out. But for now, let's go ahead and put the front on. I don't want this video to be two hours long. Oh, before we do that, though, guys, I want to put some gold on here. I want to put some gold on here. Alright, let's see what we got here. So we have this, and then we need our little screw. 
screws here. So what they did was they, the only person I could find, I guess there's a lady that does it, but she does it. It's a YouTube short. So it's like 35 seconds long, and she does like four of them at one time. And what she does is she puts super glue on here. And then, let's see, let's put this on. So that way we know where they're supposed to be. hard guys <laughs> this is not easy at all not easy at all all right so we want to paint this on the top bowl here This is hard to get on. I'm not even going to lie, guys. Harder than I thought it was going to be. I feel like it'd almost be easier to do a little screw on hinges on the back. So, now, ah. all right, got a little bit of overspill right here, let me get it off. Make it shut better. Okay. All right, so that's on. All right. So let us take. Just a little bit of super glue here. And put it on this edge. can get it to screw in without drilling it. Don't know if I will or not. Get my little smaller one here. This 
is hard, guys. <laughs> don't, don't let nobody kid you. This is not easy. This is the hardest one probably I've done. I thought the wind chime was hard. This is harder. Alright, so what we're going to do here. We're going to cheat. Number one, we're going to tape the box together for a minute. So this way it doesn't fall apart where I'm trying to put these pieces on. And I think I just glued this piece permanently. Nope. Okay, let me turn here. Okay. Thought I super glued it together. <laughs> I was like, oh no, did I super glue this? I almost did. Alright, I'm gonna clean this with some alcohol, so I'm gonna get a different one. Cause that one I kinda super glued it. I wasn't trying to. Alright. So. Where does this go? Right on here, maybe? No. It's almost got to go up here, huh? Alright, we need a drill. <laughs> we need our drill. Where's my drill? There's no drill here. Yesterday. Make sure it's not slid up. Oh, yep, that's exactly where it's at. Slid under my leveling board. <laughs> it slid under, guys. All right. I'll put one right here. Just need like three or four hands for this, guys. <laughs>
right, maybe. No. All right, let's see if we can get this in here. Screw it in without the piece on first. Get it in one time, back it out, and then put it in. Oh, it smokes, guys. Guys, this is not easy. Not easy at all. Not easy at all. Okay, maybe. Goodness gracious. All right. It started at least. Holy smokes. All right. That was a chore. Wow. All right. Goodness gracious. Well, if you guys got a Dremel, use the Dremel. I need to get a better Dremel. I have one, but it's like a battery-operated one that kind of works when it wants to, and when it doesn't want to charge, it doesn't, and it's not like, it's like a cheapy one, so it's not worth buying new batteries for or anything. It's not a good Dremel. It's not a real Dremel. It's just a little generic thing that's supposed to charge via USB, and it doesn't <laughs> half the time. Does not charge half the time. Goodness, okay. There we go. Golly. That was something else. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna screw this in and get get the next hole here. Drilled enough. All right, now let's see. I think maybe. So today's Easter. How's everybody's Easter been? I don't really do a whole lot for Easter. I've been went over and helped my neighbor put up some drywall in her closet. I'll tell you what, it kicked my butt holding that drywall up in the air and trying to screw it in over your head. And this was just a little two foot by two foot piece of drywall. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how these drywallers do it. The big big chunks of drywall 
of course they have all the right stuff to do it with. I cheated and used a, a couple things and propped underneath it to kind of hold it up on the top shelf of the closet while I was trying to put it up. But we got it in there. And uh, I mudded it and it's drying and tomorrow I'm going to go over and sand it. And I don't know if we're going to paint it or not. Oh, come on. Guys, I'm so close to a thousand. Had a couple of you message me today and go tell me how many away I am and I'm like, oh, I know, I'm, I'm been looking at it. I had to put my phone away earlier, it was making me crazy. Just kept looking at it every five, ten minutes. I'm like, oh, it's up another one, it's up another one. Before I came to record this video, I was nine away. So guys, if there are nine of you out there that are watching this that are not subscribed, please do so tonight. Please, you watch me struggle with this thing. So, let's see now where this goes. Okay, so it looks like those are going to go right on this thing here. is enough to get it on here hopefully hopefully <laughs> Goodness gracious, guys. Just know this is not the easiest mold to put together. It's cute, don't get me wrong. It is super cute. But it is not easy at all. Like I said, if you got a Dremel, it might be better. Here. 
shoot more guys, but just no. Wow. <laughs> I still don't know about the hand. It's 100%. And again, as hard as this is to get on, I don't know if the hinge, a screw on hinge would be any better or not. If I could be at a drum all screw on hinge would be a lot easier. And those glue things back there. I still don't really know what we're supposed to be doing with them. Like I said, I can't really find a good video on them. Who was it that did it? Was it you, Lena? I'm not sure who it was, but I was thinking it was you that said you did one. Okay, so that's on. Yay. Yay, and it fits, and it's on. It's just this. Oh, I see what that problem is. That's out too far. All right. So if you look here, I don't know if you can see this or not. See this one? This one is a bright one. This one's out way too far. So it's probably why it's not working right. Because this one works great. This one is like really hard to bend. And it's way out too far, like I said. So we're going to stand that up like so. All right, I'm going to try to figure this out, guys, um, and we'll post an update tomorrow. I'm going to try to do something different with this, because this is just, I don't know, this is driving me crazy here, but, uh, put a little gold in here, and our jewels, and our jewels. Yeah, I'm like so confused by this. Yeah, I'm confused. I'm really confused by this, guys. I don't know. Something I can think is that you put it up like so, but then it doesn't sit right. So, I don't know. This is our treasure box. Like I said, it locks alright. But these right here just don't... I don't know. Did I fill them too full? Is that what my issue is, guys? Did I fill them, fill them too full? Maybe I did. So that should be dying down when it's closed. Yep. Maybe I filled them too full. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, I mean, if you don't ever plan to open it, you're good. <laughs> Just don't open it. Don't plan to open it. So, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Nothing else for my struggle. And, uh, if you haven't subscribed, guys, please help me. Nine away. Nine away. Nine, guys. Nine. Count them. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm so grateful for anyone who has. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. 
And I hope everybody stays happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I hope you had a wonderful Easter, no matter how you spend it, if you celebrate or not. I hope your day was wonderful. And I hope your resin cures beautifully. And your projects turn out wonderful. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.